There are two other methods that I quickly want to mention. Uh, they are for skipping files or skip, skipping lines or skipping characters. So check it out. There's skip, which will skip a specified number of characters. So all you have to do is put that in, put the number of characters to skip in parentheses, which is a very weird method. I've almost never used it. Just be aware that it exists. You may need to use it. And if you do need to use it, guys, let me know how you used it and why. I'd love to hear an example. And then there's also skip line, which will skip one line at a time. Now, you cannot pass it a parameter and say skip line 10. But if you did want to skip like 15 lines, you know, you can do a for loop. And now you can skip 10 lines like that, you know, if you do like that. Now, like I said, I haven't had to use these too much, but you may find a use for them and just know that they exist.